Hi there everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and I'm pretty excited because I just got uh, a delivery I'm pretty excited to crack into. Uh, there's a new kit on the market for German U-boat lovers. Uh, it's an offering from Trumpeter. Uh, we got the box right here. I'm gonna crack into it uh, and let's take a look and see what we get. That is a boat kit. Uh, you know, again, we're talking about a plastic display model here. Um, you can see on the front, 1,398 millimeters, works out to about 55 inches in length. So that's a big box. Um, you know, typically models like that, such as this ARC model, a 48 inch U-boat, uh, come in three sections uh, for easier shipping. Um, not so much the case with this. So let's crack into the box and see what you actually end up getting. Let's take a quick look at some of the, uh, the box art here. You can see that uh, the, the model is actually done in uh, clear plastic, which allows uh, an interior view of the setup of the U-boat. Um, this looks like it's going to build into a, into a beautiful display model. Um, comes with all of the crew members here as well. Uh, full decal sheet and some photo etched detail parts. So let's take a look in the actual box itself. So this is the interior uh, of the box as it would come to you. It looks like we've got uh, an extremely thick set of instructions. All laid out. They look to be very comprehensive. Uh, this looks to be a paint reference chart that goes through the interior bit by bit and telling you exactly where to apply decals, uh, what to paint, and what color to paint it. Exceptionally detailed. That's going to be really fun to go through. I believe there's over 1,100 parts. Uh, in this particular kit. Taking a quick look at um, you know this hull section uh, in the stern there, um, this is all a single piece of clear plastic. Um, it's really crystal clear. They got really good visibility through there. All of the uh, deck details are in place there. They don't go all the way through um, so you're going to be looking at, uh, you know, at low lighting all of those recesses uh, in the upper deck area. But that's really, really interesting and clear plastic with all of the rivet details on there as well. All right, let's take a look uh, at some of the fun stuff in, in box number B. It looks like, we, you know, we got some battery uh, banks in here. Um, basically just the, you know, the, the sheets of plastic parts. We've got a ton of different crew members, uh, exceptionally well detailed. I uh, got some bulkhead parts in here as well. Uh, you know, flooring sections, sidewalls. Really, really exciting stuff. There's some clear parts in there as well. Breaking into box uh, B, you can see we've got some conning tower uh, pieces. Again, you got all the raised rivet uh, details in there, all of the markings and scribings for the uh, various handrails, um, you know, more bulkheads, walls. Interior detail parts, uh, forward torpedo tube areas. 1,100 parts, and I would absolutely believe uh, every word of that. And kind of uh, last, but certainly not least, so take a look at these, you know, hull halves. So we've we've got the uh, the port side done in uh, light gray plastic. 
Um, all the weld lines uh, are in place there. All the rivet details are in place there. And the upper deck is integrated into that piece. So this is all uh, one solid piece. Um, hatches, man, unfortunately, you know, for a, an exceptionally detailed model, they're, they're actually integrated into uh, the deck. So, you know, if you wanted to have those functional, like I would assume a lot of people would, um, it is going to involve some very careful uh, cutting and potentially fabricating uh, new hatches. Um, but jumping over to the other side, we can see uh, just like the stern section there, nice, clear, crystal clear um, part with all the same details in there. Just beautiful. This is going to build into a, a beautiful model. So there you go, guys. That is the new offering from uh, Trumpeter out of China, uh, 48 scale German Type 7 U-boat. Um, they modeled it after the U-552, but obviously you can probably model it uh, as any number of other boats, uh, depending on your interest. Um, based on what I can see here, I see no reason that this would not make uh, an exceptionally good candidate for RC conversion. Um, again, 48 scale for these Type 7 U-boats, uh, in my mind, is just about perfect. Um, it's certainly much bigger than the 72nd Ravel kit, um, which requires a lot of finicky work for installation, is much harder uh, to put together, and really doesn't behave as realistically on the water. And it's smaller than the 32nd scale offering from OTW uh, or Engel. Much more easy to transport, um, but still offering a lot of room inside for the installation of fun features. Uh, making it easy to work on as well. So um, I'm going to give it a big thumbs up. I can't wait to build it, but you know what? Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to RC this one. There's so many fascinating interior details in here. This may end up being uh, an as-built, out-of-the-box uh, display model for somebody who's interested in having me build it up for them, uh, or potentially, and maybe uh, better for me, I'm going to build it for myself. Uh, and display it in my study. So thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you liked the review of this trumpeter kit. Uh, looking forward to comments and suggestions uh, at any time at bob at rc-sub.com. Be sure to visit my website at nautilusdrydocks.com. Subscribe for updates. Thanks everyone. We will catch you next time.